It's South Asian Heritage Month, so I'm going to showcase some of the best books, in my opinion, uh, out there worth reading. Most of these are non-fiction, just FYI, and actually we've interviewed a few of these people, so check them out. So number one, we talk about Brown Baby, which is a powerful memoir by Nikesh Shukla, exploring identity, family, and the challenges faced by British people uh, of colour. Number two, The Right Sorted Girl by Anita Rani, which is an inspiring memoir about breaking barriers and finding her place as a British Asian woman. Good Talk by Mira Jacob, which is a graphic memoir delving into race, culture, and difficult conversations with humour and honesty. Next is Empire Land with Satnam Sangera, who we have interviewed. It's a thought-provoking exploration on the British Empire's enduring impact on modern-day Britain. We also looked at The Roles We Play by Sabah Khan, which presents an intimate collection of stories exploring the experiences of Muslim women in the UK. We also looked at It's Not All About Burqa, so it's not about the burqa, edited by Mariam Khan. This anthology gives voice to Muslim women discussing faith, feminism and identity. I love this one. It's stories for South Asian supergirls and is absolutely stunning for children and it has absolute amazing collection of women showcased by Raj Kaur Kera, who shares inspiring tales of South Asian women who broke stereotypes and achieved greatness. Number eight is Corner Shop by Babita Sharma. Her memoir reflects on her family's corner shop and its role in British immigrant communities. Of course, we've got to talk about the Partition, so Partition Voices by Kavita Puri uh, collects first-hand accounts to shed light on the human stories behind the partition of India. Good Indian Daughter by Snehalis, who is someone I interviewed as well, explores cultural expectations and personal growth through the lens of our own experiences, and they can be quite traumatic. Number 11 is Brown Girl Like Me. Jaspreet Kaur's poignant collection of poems and essays reflects on identity, feminism, and resilience. Burning My Roti by Sharon Dhaliwal's memoir actually shares a journey as a queer Indian woman, challenging societal norms and embracing her truth. Number 13 is Good Girls Marry Doctors. Piali Patacharya's anthology explores the experiences of South Asian women navigating love and marriage and career aspirations. We also looked at Inglorious Empire by Shashi Tharoor, um, which critically examines the British Raj its impact on India's history, the economy, and its culture. Also looked at Harmasis, by, edited by Zahed Sultan, and it curates a, co a collection of stories that amplify voices from the Middle East, South Asia, and the diaspora. Uh, a new book that's come out this year is Hijab Butch Blues by Lamia H. Uh, her memoir delves into identity, queerness, and the complexities of living at the intersection of faith and sexuality. Number 17 is Untold by Gabriel Dionath and Kamini Ramdin Choudhury, who presented stories of displacement, resilience, and defining moments from uprooted communities. Number 18, Coming Out as Dalit, Yashika Dutt's memoir actually bravely accounts her, recounts her personal journey as a Dalit woman, challenging caste, discrimination, and finding her voice. So it's well worth the read.